Hi, today I'm going to be showing you how to use Z Attack Proxy to spider a website and perhaps find URLs or file locations within that website that you weren't aware of because they weren't disclosed publicly, but yet they're still available on the server. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here into Z Attack Proxy, and if you haven't watched my previous videos on setting up Z Attack Proxy, um, and editing your network settings to allow Z Attack Proxy to tra to collect traffic, or intercepting traffic with Z Attack Proxy and modifying those requests, and make sure you check out those videos as well. This will probably help this video make a little bit more sense. But using Z Attack Proxy to spider a website is actually very simple. Um, once you've loaded your website under the Sites tab, you just simply click on it, and then down the bottom you'll notice that there's a Spider tab. And if you click the play button that's next to the site name, it will begin to spider the website. And what that does is it goes out and it follows all of the links that it can possibly find. And this is a great tool for helping to discover potential extra login pages or admin consoles, that kind of thing. Um, but if there's a few settings that you should know about before you begin using this. And if you can go to Tools and then Options, and then down to Spider on the left-hand side, you'll notice that one of the options is the maximum depth to crawl. And what this tells the um, Zap Proxy application to do is to follow links out through this many pages. Um, so be careful setting this up to a higher number because, for example, if your site links to Google, all of a sudden the uh, spider is going to be crawling all sorts of pages on Google. So if you just keep it down at a lower number, around 5 is usually a good number. If you notice that there's extra sites that, or extra pages that you'd like to find that haven't been explored fully, then you can increase the number from there. But for now, I'd leave it at 5 or maybe even 6. So then hit OK, and then you can begin to spider. And you'll notice that this will go out and it'll try to find as many different pages as possible. And you can then click on one of those pages. You can scroll through, you can open these pages in your browser, and uh, it's going to continue traversing through this website until it's found all the possible pages at the depth level that you've set. So you can highlight this and copy it into your browser and you know, maybe find out what this page does. So in this case, it doesn't do much, but it is very helpful for finding all of the different pages that are located on a website. And be sure to check out some of my other videos as I explore more advanced topics using Zap, and we get into some other techniques such as brute forcing website logging or scanning a site server, as well as fuzzing. Thanks, and be sure to leave a comment if you have any questions.